All right, so if you're new to the channel, um, so I've basically been doing the series where I take every jet aircraft and make it into a functional paper plane. And this is basically the tutorial for the AN-225. And this one actually is really fun to make and also flies quite well. I'll show a video of it flying, but yeah, it does fly quite well. So let's just start with it. Okay, so the first thing you'll need is just one standard piece of printer paper. You're gonna need a ruler, I suggest like, um, a smaller one like this, not the big ones, but I mean, it could work with the big ones. It's just to measure things. A pencil for marking, um, scissors to cut stuff. Uh, this razor blade is optional. It'll just make some things easier to cut, but you, you can do it with all scissors if you want. Glue stick, obviously, and tape. This is basically a template. I have the PDF file in the link in my description. This will help get the wing size, the exact thread length, and also the body to be the exact shape. So yeah, let's start. First thing you want to do is just you want to fold it hamburger style, the side to the side. It's important that you try to get every crease to be very precise as you know, it's this one big piece of paper as it's going to be folded down to like a much smaller plane. So you're going to want to make sure these creases are nice and accurate. Now I'm going to unfold it and I'm going to fold the other side, the hot dog style. Again, super nice and sharp, just like that. Just like that. Alright, so when you open it, you should have some sort of cross section here. Now you want to take this crease and fold it to the middle from the first crease we just made. Should I get it to exactly the middle? Same thing for the upside. Alright. So something like this, make sure you have everything creased well. Also, sorry, you're gonna hear a few sniffles. I'm a, I am a little sick, just a little bit. Not that much though. Okay, so you're gonna take this, you're just gonna fold it over. Make sure you have these tabs on the outside. And when you fold it, you will have this little um bump here, so just crease that out so it's flat like that. There. Just like that. Now take this corner, or this edge, and fold it. Make sure it lines up with this corner right here. No, not corner, just an edge. And make sure no paper is coming out the outside of here. Crease it here. Fold it over, do the same thing. Just like that. So you should have something like this. Make sure you have everything creased super, super well. It's gonna crease everything one more time. All right, you're gonna put that to the side and you're gonna take your template. Uh, this is for how much we need to fold it. So you wanna take your ruler and it should, if you're printing on just normal size, paper should be the same size. Uh, take your ruler and you wanna measure from, see here how, um, at the landing gear base, it kind of goes down, so you want to measure from the top to that bottom. Right here. So if I were to measure that, that would be about about ten and a half. So you can mark that on your ruler, and then that's how much you're gonna be folding. We'll just make a line, just like that. So this is where our body is. You want to make your ruler align with here, so this will help you make a nice straight fold. Yeah, like this. It is going to have a little bit of crease, but that's fine. Do it like this, and then do the same thing for the other side. So something like this. So when you unfold it, this part will basically be our wings and this will be the body. 
Okay, now you're gonna unfold everything. Well, not everything, but take this corner, fold it over, take this out, and you should have this portion where you can unfold. See that? So like this. So it should be like that, so you just have these parts you fold here. Now here you can either take razor blade or the scissors, I'm gonna use razor blade, and you're gonna really cut from this crease, that crease, not this crease, this crease, and then cut it all the way down. Yeah, make sure you cut all the way through. Just like that. Same thing for the other side. This will essentially be our tail section. So the separate piece of paper adds a new layer, giving us the area where we can make the T section tail. Put it back in. Fold these down. Oh, actually, don't fold it yet. <laughs> Flip it over. Fold this so now you should have this facing outwards. And you're gonna take this this edge and you're gonna fold it right along this crease. So now it should be sticking out like that. And then do the same thing for the other side. Because some oh being symmetric is key. Now you should have something like this. Now you can fold this back down. So this should be underneath. And then refold, recrease everything so it's nice and neat. And there. It should look like something like this. Something like that. Now you're gonna flip it over. You wanna take your pencil. This pencil, and then you kind of make make sure you're holding this, so then it, you know, you're not measuring it far off. But then just kind of go down and then push it right along from where you made that fold. This is where you're gonna cut it. So like that, just along this edge. And then again, use your razor blade or your scissors. Use my razor blade. And just cut right along there all the way through through those uh two layers of paper <laughs> something just like that same thing for the other side Okay, so now it should look something like that. So you have these two parts separated. Now you can already see where if I were to fold this, fold this down, that would create basically our tail section for the antenna of 225. Just like that. All right, hold over. We're not gonna do the tail section here, we're gonna focus on the wings. So basically this part's gonna be a little tricky, but it shouldn't be that tricky. So here, there's this little strike, there's like, I think four layers of paper, you have this bottom, this middle, this middle, and then the top. So you kind of want to go in between here, and you want to cut this crease, but you don't want to cut through here. So this is where you want to use your scissors. Um, this is kind of hard to explain, but you want to go under, underneath, and cut this crease. So make sure you're not cutting the bottom. So just that to the top. All right, so now this is where our wings is the tail. Yeah, oh, yeah, something like that. And then here at this point, I would suggest take your tape and take your tape for this. And then since here this is open, oh. Give me the crease set. If this part's open, right? This open. You kind of want to um, basically just uh, tape this bottom section first. Even though we're going to cut it a little bit, this is going to help keep everything together while we're making the rest of the plane. So not that much tape, just a little bit. Okay. 
Kind of just tape it along there. Make sure it's even though. All right, just like that. So now this part will stay together. Okay, moving on. Moving on to the tail section now. Uh, this is where you want to take your template again. And then for here, what you want to do is that for this middle section, like those two dots right there, you want to cut in the middle, basically, through the body. Those two dots are kind of your guideline. I cut it. Make sure it's right in the middle. So it should be like that. And now, you're gonna cut just all around. Um, ignore the engines, you're just gonna cut around them. Actually, no, don't cut around them, just cut them off, basically. And just, oops, yeah. Don't care about the engines for right now. Just cut all around. Try to do your best cutting skills. If they're not perfect, it's fine. It should still be able to fly, but it'll look better the other way. All right. Fold that section. <laughs> Around the, the tail. I would say here, since um, this is a little thick, for no reason. Cut through that and then cut halfway through so it's not all around that rough point. So just all the way through. There. Just like that. This will basically be our template and we'll trace this on the body of our plane to make sure these wings and tails are the exact same size. Just like that. After you cut that, you want to take this body section and you want to cut just the body and then here for the tail, you want to cut that off separately. So, you know, just, you'll see, you'll see. So don't cut, don't just cut through the tail, you're really going to need that. Kind of just cut that here, cut through here. Turn around the body. And then for, don't cut all the way through, kind of just go back here and just leave the tail by itself because we'll need it so like that. So I didn't, so the tail's still there. And then for these little bumps, um, we won't need them. I mean, uh, I didn't add them. For my plane, but you can you can add them if you want. There's just like just glue two pieces of paper on top, something. But for now, we'll just we don't need that because the body isn't that tall. So like that. So here you can see exactly where that wing sort of starts. So as we put it against here. You want you want to nudge the nose right where it just touches the edge of the paper, right like that, and then right there you can mark it if you want. Uh, you actually do mark it, but that right there is where the the wing is gonna start, like that, and then. For here, I would use um, a razor blade. You could also use this, like some sort of needle or pencil just to like make a little hole to where you mark that. This will help to show on top exactly where that wing is supposed to start. So now you have this. Now it shows you where the wing is going to start. See? Okay, now find this out so it's just a little easier to trace. I just put it right against so that wing to start. See that? Just like that. And now you're just going to trace everything. Make sure this edge, since this isn't 3D exactly, I guess the body, 
Make sure this is right along that crease. So now you can trace everything. So just like that. So now you have the tail section separated and you have the wing separated. So now here um, for the other side, just flip this template over and that should be pretty easy. You can use a ruler to remark it so then you have the wings aligned. Um, I'm gonna do that. So then, uh, my rules here, just so then I don't make it. Uh, see this crease here? You're basically gonna have the user ruler for this one. I'm gonna start from this end here. Or actually, no. Oh, my bad. So take a, I'd say like half an inch, half an inch. Right about half an inch. Oh wait, that's not even inches. Okay, so my bad. So put it here. And then you want to mark exactly half an inch. So you should have a marker there. And then you can just mark it on the set. Now from this point to this point, you're gonna take your ruler, start from that point you just marked, and to the end of that wing, to the very edge of that wing. Shoot. Should have something like that. So here, you wanna use your scissors, and just use, use the scissors. Cut it here. And then here, since just, this is the part we're gonna fold over, so just cut through to here. And then you can cut the sec back section too. The front is where we're going to be folding. Cool. So now you have, oh, and I'm going to string there. So now you have this back center cut. And then we're gonna cut here, and then along here, this is where we're gonna fold back. So this one, we're actually gonna cut all the way through. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm just gonna cut this. Yeah, so like this. Like that. Now you wanna flip it over. See how you have three sections of paper here? Oh, let me just move the scraps over a little bit. Take your glue stick, I'd say use uh, glue stick instead of tape, uh, it's a little easier to do with tape. You're going to first glue this top part and just glue it to here so that it sticks to the top. All right, so now this is whole, uh, one whole piece. And don't add too much glue or else it's going to add too much weight. And also, like, if you add too much glue on one side, it's going to make the plane, you know, spin. So we don't want that. So glue it down. Yeah, if you like went over a little bit just like me, you could just cut it off. So, something like that. I'm gonna re glue it a little bit because I didn't glue it away. Ooh. All right. Now you're gonna take this part and you're gonna fold it. And how you know where to fold it is that there's when you fold it, there should be like, you should be able to see the crease. And when you, right as you see that crease, that's when you want to fold it down. So it's kind of hard to see from my angle, but you see like that crease is just barely able to be seen from underneath. That's where you want to start folding it down. And then for here, this extra section, you want to you don't want to cut it off. It'll just add more weight to the, I mean, strength to the wings. Just kind of want to fold it. So like that. See, now I got the wings. All right. So I'll do the exact same thing for this side. I'm gonna make a line from here to here.
cut all the way through. And same thing, you just fold it down. Sorry guys, I'm a little sick, so my nose isn't doing that great. But yeah, you got something pretty solid. All right, moving on. This is gonna be the hard part. I'm just gonna bear with me here. So here, you're gonna wanna see that line. You're gonna fold, it's kinda hard to fold here, but put your finger here and make your crease right along that like end point of the tail wing. Horizontal stabilizers. So yeah, should align just like that. Same thing with the other side. Fold down, make sure it's straight too. That's important because these are our rudders. If you don't make it straight, then your plane ain't gonna fly. Or if you don't care about flies and just care about looks, then you're not gonna pay too much attention to that. So it should just like that align with the edges. All right, so for here, I'm gonna flip it over, find these out, and then kind of just, you should be able to see that crease and you want to fold the bottom section across it, or just parallel with it, so it matches up directly with it. So now, for you, you can kind of already see how this is going to work. And then flip it over again. Or if you just kept it like that, I'll just kind of show you. One of these parts, and you want to glue right along here. Use some glue for this too. Make sure you use about the same amount of glue. Keep it as accurate as possible. Down, fold it down, and then fold it up. Something like that. Now you can flip it over, and then you're gonna glue here, so then you can glue this together. Make sure, because we're gonna be cutting to the very edge, glue this like hole, like very to the very edge. Don't like leave it out. Try to make sure you have a glue on that edge. Press it down. When you lift it up, it should look something like that. All right, same thing for this side. Nice. So, fold it together. Cool, now you can really see how this is going to play out. Okay, so if, before we cut out this part, we're going to want to cut out these wings, and you, this is where you're going to be really careful, so it's kind of hard to explain, but just watch. So the back section shouldn't be a problem. Just cut to that, um, set the wing, and just cut out there. Something like that. Same thing for the other side. Be careful you're not cutting into the wing. That would be really bad. <laughs> cool. So it should look something like that. Now for here, since this is to the very edge, you don't want to cut exactly the edge. You want to leave like the smallest bit of space between, oh, between that spot. So let me show you. It's about like right there. See, it's not completely on the edge, but there's a tiny amount of space where that glue is present. 
just like that. So see how this still stays together. Now you're gonna cut that, cut this part out now. So now it should be something like this. It's gonna droop a little bit. That's fine once we add, uh, cut the tail out. Oh, this should be fine. Same things for the other side. Leave a little bit of space. Nice. So now you can see we got an N225 with really oversized rudders. So here, this is where you want to cut out the final part of your template. Okay, that's it. Tail section, and this part should be pretty self-explanatory. Just trace it on the rudder, and then just cut it out. Basically, not much to it. So. Kind of here, that point you want to align it with the middle because you want it to be middle, and then line with this back part, and it should be basically right there. And just kind of do a brief trace on kind of where it is. Simply cut that section off. And now if you were to find it out, check that out. You got the tail for that part. Kind of find out a little more so then it doesn't look too weird. But yeah. See, that's pretty sick, isn't it? Just some folding and cutting and you get something like that. All right, same thing for the other side. So now if you make sure those wings are nice and even, you get the tail section. And that looks really sick. That looks so cool. Plus it's also going to just be easier to get the tail, but just kind of glue these edges in that sort of rim part and then just glue it on. So cool. Now these wings are looking nice and solid. It's kind of like that. God damn, this looks sick, bro. I'm actually kind of shocked how I came up with this. It looks so good already, even without cutting the body. <laughs> Aight. So now, this is where we're gonna diffuse the large part. Take in your tape. This is what we're gonna do for this section. Just cut like a little section. And it should fit. Oh, mine barely fits, yeah. So this is for that tail section here. Just to keep everything in place and not fall apart. So just like that. And then kind of just do that for um, mainly everything except for the bottom because the bottom we still need to cut. So I would suggest just doing like this front part. Oh, 
Also, don't tape this front part. You're gonna need to cut that too. I'm just gonna glue this. Since there's like double layers here, I also forgot it. there. It might be like f flaring out a little bit, so kind of just glue the outside pieces of paper in. Oh, that one's fine. Oh, I guess not. Now look at that. And then uh, there's a little section in the back, just so it's going to be slightly open. Just use a little bit of tape. Use this tape I have on the table. And we're up. after this, we're almost done, almost done. Tape that down, and now the whole section should be closed. Now, if you're content with this and you like the look, how it kind of looks like a paper airplane while still being the antenna wings, you can keep it like this. But of course, I need to make it with the same body. And like that measuring tool we had before should pretty much define see that wings in this body right to the edge. Now, for here, this might be slightly tricky, a little tricky, but just kind of hold it. And then check it out, you should have the body. Okay, so here, be careful, because the back is gonna open now because it was originally closed. Just cut along that line the best you can. There's gonna be a lot of layers of paper here. So just try to get it as close as you can. <laughs> Just like that. So now, basically, it is the Antonov. So, for these bottom sections here, just just tape that now. Um, of course, if you want this fly, don't use too much tape. Just the the minimal amount you'll need. And for this nose, just use a piece of paper from the this height. It's kind of hard to with since it's curved, so just do the front edge like that, and then cut around it. So now, if you have everything properly glued on and taped, you should have a pretty sick looking Antonov. Also, quick tip: if you can fly it. When you do cut it, it is going to be curved slightly, so kind of make sure you kind of bend the paper. It's usually going to do that, so something like this. So this will kind of, if you keep it like that, then it's going to cause the plane to do spins. I don't want that. And of course, um, you know, you can add the engines. It's just that I'm not going to do it. It's just since, um, you know, the engines add a lot of drag. But if you want it for the looks, you can obviously add it. And it's not that hard to make. Just like kind of make sure you have it measured correctly. And then just roll it up, glue it, and then glue it on. So, yeah, that's for that part. So um, for flying, so here's a quick thing. Since this plane is like quite small, and we all know the smaller the plane, the more sensitive it is to things. If you have like, let's say you kind of glued it where you had a little more glue on this side, it's going to spin out of the control. So um, the main thing is that all those like tiny 
like minor things they might where there's like a tiny little curve here in the wing it's gonna um add some pretty bad turns to the plane so you're just gonna have to keep leveling things out and just make sure it's straight but when like it does it flies really well and for extra lift i would kind of curve this section since these wings are kind of flat this kind of helps give a little more lift so it isn't just a straight piece of paper this kind of really helps it fly so yeah let me fly it for you guys just to show you it's legit so yeah so it's kind of important to before you test fly kind of look dead straight at it and make sure it's you know straight the wings are you know not like one's curved more than the other and also the tail is next section so uh this will help make make sure it flies straight and also if it's like a little too tail heavy starts to go up a little bit um add some weight in the nose either like a little bit more tape or something if it's a little nose heavy then just add a strip of tape in the back so that's what i did it was a little nose heavy but here's the flight So yeah, as you can see, this does fly. It's just that it does take some minor adjustments to get it to fly completely straight. But yeah, it does actually fly quite well. It's just I don't have that much space. So yeah, but you can see in the slow mo that it does actually stay pretty stable. So yeah, that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. Also, comment what plane I should make into a paper airplane next because this is the continuation of the series. Ah!